Patrick, uh, can you fill us in on what the, what the latest is with Hubble? All right, so yeah, there's something going on with uh, Hubble. And this space telescope has brought us some amazing pictures, as uh, Sarah was saying, and has provided us with amazing um, imagery of images even from our solar system to the deepest reaches of the universe, and has even provided us uh, with data on uh, the possible composition of atmospheres of exoplanets. And that's how uh, great uh, Hubble Space Telescope is. Now, most, most of these images are taken on board the spacecraft and they are transmitted down to Earth uh, like this uh, through a relay satellite and then to ground stations. And then they are processed out in uh, Baltimore at the uh, head headquarters of the Hubble Space Telescope Center. Now, the problem is there is a glitch on board on the Hubble computer that has now um, caused no more imagery to be sent down from the telescope. And uh, that uh, computer is known as the science computer. It's shown right there. And uh, there is a problem on it uh, where it's basically not working. And when it's not working, it affects all the instruments that gather data through the mirror of the telescope and the data that's sent to that computer. So all of these instruments in those red boxes are no longer capable of gathering data, they're still working, but the computer itself, which is basically almost like a control and command center for collecting all the data from those instruments, has a glitch in it. And that happened on June 13th, and it's almost like three, three weeks now that uh, engineers are working on this particular computer. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like, this is what the computer looks like. It's actually uh, attached on the side of a door of the Hubble Space Telescope. This is the first computer before it was launched into space. And uh, when I say the first computer, um, it's because that computer has since been replaced by an identical computer, which is seen here, in a servicing mission in uh, 2009. And here are some pictures of that. That's service mission uh, number four. Um, it did a number of things, including um, installing the, um, the wide field camera which was uh, a big advance for the, uh, for the Hubble Space Telescope. You can see here one of the astronauts working on the Hubble Space Telescope, which is uh, literally attached to the uh, space shuttle. And then the astronauts go out and do their spacewalk. There's all hand, you can see those yellow handrails uh, where they can uh, walk or grasp and, and get to the uh, different uh, components or parts of the telescope where they can replace uh, various uh, instruments. Now, just taking a closer look at this computer, it's actually called a science command and data handling system. And it's, you can see it's just a bunch of, uh, of black boxes, but actually within this uh, system, there, are, um, there is a computer in there, uh, which is the NASA uh, space flight computer. It's just NASA called, actually called the NASA standard space flight computer. Now, just so we can understand what, what this computer does and what this whole uh, science instrument command uh, data handling system does. It does have a power supply, which is indicated there. And just like your own computer at home or laptop, you have a power supply to power all the components of that computer. There are two CPUs. Um, one is a main CPU computer processing unit and the other one is a backup unit. Uh, so there are, in case the, the main one fails, and then just like your computer, you have memory. Uh, of course, this is a different type of memory. It's called a, a CMOS memory. And there are four banks of them of uh, 64K. Uh, so that might not sound like a lot, but this computer was actually designed in 1980. So the computer on board the Hubble Space Telescope is 50 years old. Now, in order to communicate with the instruments, um, there are these uh, interfaces, just like your uh, USB 3 ports and uh, your video ports that you know, connect to your cameras and, and your peripherals, your printers. The interface connects to all the scientific instruments on board the uh, Hubble Space Telescope, which are kind of shown here. So what's going on? Well, I'm gonna just back up the slide here. So what's, what's happening is that uh, when the glitch occurred, the engineers tested sending writing data to the memory, to those uh, memory banks, and they found that they could write to the memory banks, but they could not read them, read the what was in what they sent to the memory banks. So that was the glitch uh, that they, uh, they are dealing with uh, at the moment. So they thought, okay, we'll switch from the main computer 
to the backup computer and do the same test. Let's write to the memory and then let's see if we can retrieve data from the memory. Well, on that test, the same thing happened. They could not read information that they sent to the computer memory. So they're looking at maybe other things um, in the um, unit, maybe the, the power supply, which supplies 28 volts to, um, to all the systems. Uh, maybe that, uh, that is not uh, s supplying 28 volts. Uh, there may be issues with the, uh, the buses and, uh, and some other units uh, within this uh, system here. So kind of today, they are actually still working on other options. And as of today, um, they are basically um, still working on the issue. And hopefully, um, if they can find a solution, that would be great. Otherwise, we could lose a great observatory in space. Thank you, Patrick, for that report. Uh, fingers crossed for the Hubble Space Telescope, of course. And let's hope they can get it working again. We currently don't have a, a large space telescope to replace Hubble. We were hoping the web would overlap with Hubble. It has slightly different capabilities. We were hoping to get to use both at once, but we might not get to. So um, let's hope they can get it going to fill that gap a little bit for us. And so, yeah, and we don't have a space shuttle to service it. Anymore. No, no, the shuttle was, was certainly a very, very dangerous vehicle to ride in to come back in, but it was certainly a, a, a tool that provided that amazing ability to go in and, and fix that Hubble over and over again to, to make those corrections.